بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of grade 6, I am Ihsanullah, your Holy Quran teacher. This is our fourth class. And this class is about the third section of your Holy Quran course. That is memorizing a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's start our class. Uh, dear students, before memorizing our course, I would like to explain a few important things for you. So first of all, we will learn about Hadith. The importance of hadith, some famous collections, and about Sahih Sitta. Literally, hadith uh, means a saying or a narration. In Islamic terminology, the sayings, the actions, and the confirmation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is called hadith. Sometimes hadith is also called sunnah. What is the importance of hadith? Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sayings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are the second and most important source of Islamic Sharia. And about this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Awaz billahi minash shaitan ar rajim لقد من الله على المؤمنين إذ بعث فيهم رسولا من أنفسهم يتلو عليهم آياته ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين Allah has surely blessed the believers with his favor when he raised in their midst a messenger from among themselves Yatlu alihim ayatihi, who recites to them his verses. Wayuzakihim and makes them favor. Wayuallemuhum al kitab al hikmah and teaches the book and the wisdom. Wainkanu min kablu la fi dola lim mubin. While they were earlier in an open air. So, Kitabullah and Sunnah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam are the two most important sources of Islamic Sharia. Due to the importance of a hadith Tayyibah, All great scholars compile their collections of hadith. They fulfill the duty assigned to them by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Allah falyuballik shahidul ghaib. For this purpose, they collected a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And there are 
Thousands of collections of Hadith Mubaraka of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam are available. Few important books are Sahih al-Bukhari, which was compiled by Imam Bukhari, rahimahullah, al mutta compiled by Imam Malik, Musnad Ahmed, compiled by the great scholar, Imam Ahmad ibn Muhammad ibn Hanbal, rahimahullah, Musnad al-Imam Abi Hanifa, compiled by Imam Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, Sunan al-Nisai, Abu Dawood, Sunan al-Tirmidhi, Sunan ibn Majah, and so on. Among these collections, six books of a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam are famous. These six books are called Sihah Sitta. You can see in this slide, first of all, Sahih al-Bukhari, then Sahih Muslim, then Sunan Abi Dawood, then Jami al-Tirmidhi, then Sunan al-Nisai, then Sunan ibn Majah. Sahih means correct, authentic, a thing without doubt. And Sitta means six. All these six books contain Sahih Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, though there is a bit of contradiction among the Hadith scholars. But this collection of six books is given the name of Sahih is a kind of hadith. All the respected muhaddithin, rahimahumullah, classified the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam into many categories like Sahih, Mashhur, Aziz, Gharib, Hassan, Daif. That's why you can say that first two books are Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. The third one is Sunan, Sunan Abi Dawood. Then the fourth one is Jame. Then two are Sunan al-Nisai and Sunan ibn Majah. These uh, names are given uh, by the different methodology adopted by the compilers of these collections. Dear students, uh, we have two hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu sallam in our course. First hadith is hadith number 1977 and that is taken from Sunan al-Tirmidhi or Jami al-Tirmidhi. And the second hadith is taken from Sahih Muslim. Sunan al-Tirmidhi or Jami al-Tirmidhi was compiled by Imam Abu Isa Muhammad ibn Isa al-Tirmidhi. He is called a Tirmidhi because he was born in Tirmidh. Imam Tirmidhi rahimahullah, was blessed with an outstanding memory. He was a pious person. About this book, Jami Tirmidhi, or Sunan Tirmidhi, Imam Rahimahullah said, Whoever has this book in his house has the prophet who speaks in his house. The second hadith of your course is taken from Sahih Muslim, a Sahih Holy Muslim. This famous collection of hadith is compiled by Imam Abu Hussein Muslim ibn al Hajjaj al Kushiri, rahimahullah. He was a great uh, Hadith scholar. 
and he is recognized for his masterpiece in the sayings of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sahih Muslim is regarded as the most authentic book of a hadith after the Sahih of Imam Bukhari rahimahullah. This collection has over 3,000 hadith. Dear students, uh, every hadith has two parts. One is called Sanad, chain of narrators. And the second part is called Matan or text. Sanad or chain of narrators mean that who was the companion, who was the Sahabi who reported this hadith from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And matan is uh, the actual wording, the actual saying of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the next slide, sanad and matan of each hadith is marked for you with different colors. Before going towards memorizing a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we must say Salah on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us. Awuz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahima wa ala ala Ibrahima innaka hamidun majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahima wa ala ala Ibrahima innaka hamidun majid Dear students, every hadith is marked for you. First underlined part. Is Sanad of this hadith, though. The name of a reporter, the name of narrator who is the Ravi is not written for you. But this portion is called Sanad. And the second part, which is underli underlined with green color, is matn of this hadith. Let's say hadith number one. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Laysa al-mu'minu bitta'an. Laysa al-mu'minu bitta'an. Mu'min ta'ana dene wala nahi hota. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the believer does not insult the honor of others. Narcos. Nor commit shameful acts. Nor is he fool. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. ليس المؤمن بالطعان ولا اللعان ولا الفاحش ولا البذي. This is reported by Imam Tirmizi رحمه الله in جامع الترمذي. حديث نمبر 2 قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم 
الماهر بالقرآن مع السفرة الكرام البررة والذي يقرأ القرآن ويتتعطو فيه وهو عليه شاق له أجران رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم نے فرمایا الماهر بالقرآن قرآن مجید کا ماہر مع السفرة الكرام البرر قرآن لکھنے والے انتہائی معزز اور اللہ تعالیٰ کے فرما بردار فرشتوں کے ساتھ ہوگا والذي يقرأ القرآن اور وہ شخص جو قرآن مجید پڑھتا ہے وَيَتَتَعْتَوْ فِيهِ اور وہ اس میں اٹکتا ہے اس کو مشکل پیش آتی ہے وَهُوْ عَلِهِ شَاقٌ اور یہ جو اس کے لئے پڑھنا ہے وہ مشکت کا باعث ہے یہ جو مشکت ہے یہ زبان کی لکنت کی وجہ سے بھی ہو سکتی ہے اور یہ بھی ہو سکتا ہے کہ اس کو اچھی طرح سے پڑھنا نہ آتا ہو لیکن دونوں صورتوں کے اندر وہ پڑھنا نہیں چھوڑتا لہو اجران تو ایسے شخص کے لئے دو اجر ہیں ایک قرآن کریم کے پڑھنے کا اجر ہے اور دوسرا قرآن کریم کے پڑھنے میں مشکت اٹھانے کا قال رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم الماہر بالقرآن مع السفرة الكرام البرر والذي يقرأ القرآن ويتتعطو فيه وهو عليه شاق له أجران The Holy Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said One who is proficient in the Quran is associated with the noble upright recording angels and he who falters in it and finds it difficult for him will have a double reward thank you very much jazakallah khairan